You know that you are not permitted within the walls of the Citadel until you have shown atonement equal to your sins. I know, but the only way to achieve that is by saving this order. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stop the guy. But he's on his way right now. Can, yeah. can you think of anyone who's unlikely to be around that I could disguise myself as? Yeah, Describe Egbert. them to me. Chauncey. Chauncey? <laughs> What's yeah. Chauncey look like? Give, give me the gist. Uh, he's well, a pale lad. Pale. Um, Chauncey, you sort of see uh, as light sort of spills in through the door a uh, sudden silhouette of um, a really cool, really cool roguish Whoa. looking guy. And I guess we should roll initiative. Because mm. he's gonna definitely <laughs> gonna try and skewer poor old uh -oh. Chauncey. Sweet Chauncey. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh well. We had a good run. <laughs> 22. 17. Wow. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. 17 as well. Just as well. Eight. <laughs> 11. I rolled a natural 20. Damn! Oh, oh hey! So I'm afraid Darkfall is going to go first. Yeah, as far as he's aware, there's only one person in the room, so I guess he's just going to try and skewer you. Okay. Chauncey? Sure. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did you get those boots? They're amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I just. I, I love them. <laughs> Zelbus book. <laughs> and then the God, of course they are. Um, um, do I? Can I stop being disguised now? Can I come out of my disguise spell? It would happen on the start of your go, okay, which, okay. to be fair, is directly after this one. All right, sure. What's your armor class? Fifteen. I mean, I've rolled a natural twenty again. Oh, oh dang! Boy. Two in a row. So that's going to double the damage. Okay. Well. Well, I can half the damage. So. Oh yeah. Well, there we go then, yeah, so... What do you mean, you, how can you half the damage? I've got Uncanny Dodge. Got uncanny oh, Dodge. Dodge. Okay, all right. Dodge. So in that case, you do take five points of damage. Okay. I rolled five, which is double to ten, and then half to five. Because uh -huh. I have Uncanny Dodge. I imagine he goes in for the sort of the attack on the rubbish Dragonborn loser. Yeah. And he's like, this is Matrix out of the way. And he's like, what? Yeah. So it kind of, it more just like, he cuts up your shoulder. But Ooh. it's not the like the coup de grace stab to the heart that he was mm. expecting. <laughs> he's, he's quick like, though. He is quick. But then I undisguise myself. I'd imagine doing the uncanny dodge probably undisguises you <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah. And I'm like, uncanny dodge, MF. What do you think of that? That's right. A fellow <laughs> rogue, equally as sexy and good. <laughs> I mean, look at your boots. <laughs> and now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I, the guy I went to to have them bespoke wasn't in that day, so I had to buy off the rack. <laughs> but I'm just waiting for him to come back so I can get the bespoke ones. Anyway, I attack him with my rapier. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, you want to beat his armor class, which is a... 10? <laughs> a 10, apparently. Okay. Uh, 19. Yeah. I would say that you have exceeded his armor class. Good. Uh, go for it. All right. Roll damage. Uh, six. Okay, which will halve to three. Does he have uncanny dodge as well? Of course he has uncanny oh, no, dodge as well. Oh. It's a mirror match. Oh, we're like just back and forth, like fainting at each other. Mm -hmm. and how appropriate, you fight like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, um, <laughs> it's between <laughs> um, Marilyn and Aha. Egbert. Who wants to go first? I'm still down a well, so I suspect of the two of us, it would take me slightly, marginally longer to react. But it's your atonement. Wait, I'm not, sorry. Okay, hang on. Right, I cast Entangle on him. Ah, okay, great. Remind me, I need to make a saving throw. So, uh, yes, one act, uh, one act, 90 feet, one minute, grabbing and twine in mm -hmm. a 20 foot square radius, but I'm just targeting okay. him. All right, what's your spell save, DC? Is 11. 11. That is a 19. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one, because Darkfall apparently isn't very strong. Um, <laughs> but it's yeah. muscle. <laughs> yeah. then, nonetheless, sort of these, these vines kind of go like whoosh, and he just sort of nimbly, like cat like. Sort of <laughs> Snake hipped. Does it, yeah, does a wee, like, yeah. Um, he does a wee. <laughs> he does a, he does a, 
No, it does, it's a, a little. He moves so fast the urine leaves his body. Yeah. <laughs> he he, he moves, leaves the urine behind. Yeah, the urine moves to the side. Yeah. There is a bladder shaped <laughs> ball of urine that hangs there for a split second and just bam. <laughs> anyway, um, what's the matter, Doug? Fall. Can't deal with another rogue. I say, trying to. It's like, <laughs> hey, but it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think I feel really bad about killing anyone on consecrated ground, so I'm going to try and grab him. Okay. I'm going to try and launch out of the well as yes. best I can. Okay. Smart and grab his, yeah, I'll grab both of his arms. Mm. Okay, like, great. You're going to grapple him. Grapple? Yeah, I'm going to grapple. Oh, Come on, Egbert. Right. It's your time. Come on, Egbert. Let's see it. Okay, so yeah, it's make me time, a strength. Uh, okay. Let's check. 14 plus 4 is an 18. <laughs> I rolled a 1. Yeah! Yeah! Practically falls into your arms. Yes. He swoons. And I'm grabbing him. I'm grabbing him like not just grabbing his arms, but grabbing him around yeah. both arms and chest. So yeah. I have him pretty well gripped, I'd imagine. So you think he swooned from Corazon, probably. <laughs> I mean, I guess we'll we'll work that out sort it's of probably what happened. in a bit. Prudence, you're up. Well, I mean, Egbert seems like. How's it going there, Egbert? It's good. Yeah? Didn't want to kill him. Consecrated ground. Okay. Bad for the atonement points. Oh, okay. So you'd prefer it if we don't, you know, turn him inside out or <laughs> what have you? Uh, you know. Oh, you're not looking for atonement. It's up to you, really. But oh, I'm going to oh, hold this guy. Oh, I see. Are you saying you'd turn a blind eye if I <laughs> explode you'd him? Turn the other <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do anything that's going to explode me. Do you not? Know, do you want, not want to know why he wants to poison your order? I mean, that might be useful information. Yes, oh, but oh, all oh. I can do right now is grab him. So if anyone else wants to, I don't know, do something about the poison or find out what's going on or any, literally anything. All right, while, he's, while he's being grappled, I, I rifle through his pockets. Okay. okay. Yeah, not like that. <laughs> I'm just laughing because it's a hilarious thing to do. <laughs> well, I want the poison. I'm going to get the poison off of him. Oh yeah, fair enough. It's yeah. a little faith. But yeah, so just patting him down, just... Yeah. I mean, it's Poisons. not difficult. He has, he literally has a wine skin. Like oh, he's got loads of it. Right. So you're going to take the wine skin off it. I'm going to keep it for the squirrel for, for, yeah, just in case. Perfect. Uh, may it. I yeah. also just say for the record, that was the longest conversation anyone has ever had in a single combat round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Dog, we are. Um, well, the first thing I'm going to do is remember to cast Bardic Inspiration, <laughs> and I'm going to cast it on Egbert, who feels like he's in the most immediate danger. Uh, I give the thumbs up. You got this, birdie. Don't worry about the grappling. It's gonna be fine. Thanks. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, but now that is a you roll a d8 on, on your turn and a add that. D8. Um, that's, yeah, that's gone yeah, up a little you, bit. You add it when you need to. But then, of course, like despite the fact that that was fairly noisy, I suppose I still haven't been noticed. I drop a uh, cat-like uh, to the floor uh, and cast sleep. Okay. Hmm. Um, roll me five d8. Okay. While you're doing that, I remember I have two attack things, don't I? These days. Oh yes. So the conversation probably took place during the second attack. That's fine. Very well. Yes. <laughs> what was it called? Is it like? I just have a t I, as part of my leveling up oh. that I've done. I have a I get a second attack. Oh, so that's nice. wicked. But I was busy, you know, grappling. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. struggling. Just had a ch just had a chat. Mm. That's fourteen plus eight, which is twenty-two. Two. Twenty-two. Um. So Dob sort of jumps down and casts sleep, and uh, you just like even though he's being grappled by a massive dragon, what you see him kind of just look at you and be like, <laughs> he seems to have noticed that you're trying to make him sleep. Oh, oh and uh, so he's he's very much awake. He's not even not even bothered. Not even snoozy. <clears throat> it is Darkfall's turn. He is going to try and escape the grapple. He is going to make a strength athletics check against yours. Cool. Please, Egbert. So. Is this where I can roll the extra d8 for Bardic Inspiration? Yes, you can. Cool. So I'm rolling a d20 and then a d8. Mm. So yep. bloody inspired. Oh, that's a six plus four, that's ten. And then my d8, which is this one. Four. Fourteen. Oh, oh. times. Oh. He sort of throws his weight one way, and as you sort of go to, to compensate, oh, yeah. he just sort of like just pops out like a little really handsome cork. Oh. Um, the classic pop and fresh manoeuvre. Do his clothes stay on? <laughs> this is vital information for Corazon. I'm afraid so. <laughs> okay. They do, um, and it, eh? then he lands. I imagine it's a superhero landing. Like. Yeah. Black Widow's. Hmm. 
Hmm. He hides. Oh. Son of a... Mm. Oh my god, where did he go? It's a classic rogue move. <sighs> Annoying. There's only so many places happens. he could go. So yeah, basically you're not entirely what, sure what happened. You I think everyone's <gasps> so like, uh -huh, he got free, that when you sort of come to your senses, you're like, where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? <laughs> Back to the wall. Oh, he's, he's, he's hiding. This is a classic rogue move. I've seen it before. Um, I'm going to try and find him. Okay, do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what? Make me a uh, wisdom perception check. You're looking to be at 12. Uh, that is 10 plus 2. 12. Great. Um, you've seen him. <gasps> he has, basically, he's, he's sort of clinging on to sort of a beam and he's bracing his feet oh, against cool. the ceiling and he's like, yeah. <laughs> you, you've seen him. So, <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. Hey, uh, guess who's Butler? <laughs> I am going to, as my bonus action, I'm going to hide, but in different place <laughs> to where he is. <laughs> He's on the pipe, and then I. Oh, cool. Right. Oh, thanks. But where thanks, am I? Corazon. <laughs> where did Corazon go? But where did Corazon go? <laughs> okay, so we're back to Merylwen and mm -hmm. Egbert. He's on the pipe, Marilyn. He's on the pipe. How high is the ceiling? It's not that high. Like, it's like a rope could jump up there. Can a bear reach? <laughs> I reckon you could swipe with a paw, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go for the claw attack. Okay. So get him. Right, you are only looking to beat a 10 on the armor class, because... Okay. Because <laughs> screw you, Dark Fall. <laughs> <laughs> Whack it, Marilyn. Okay, 18. Swipe his face off. You've he said you were bad texted him. Okay, and then two um, two d sixes plus, plus four, four slashing. So six, mm. four. That's so 14 that's fourteen damage. damage. Nice. Yeah. <sighs> Pull his feet off. <laughs> so like a bear's just like taking a chunk out of his back. Uh, Egbert, what are you doing now? <laughs> I'm going to attempt to use the word again. I'm. I'm trying to be pacifist about this. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help any way I can. Uh, so I'm going to issue a command. And that okay. command is disrobe. Whoa! What? What? Whoa. What? Because he'll lose his armor, but also. What about Stop Corazon, Stop if you want to see those sweet pecs. <laughs> Marilyn says. I'm, fine. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Insisting. Surrender. So, surrender would also work. No, that's boring. I used that one before, disrobe. Okay. I like to say I used that one before as if this is in the manual. <laughs> <laughs> as if they would give you that option. Oh boy. You might be lucky, it might fail. Okay. I shield my eyes. <laughs> Pull back the curtain. Gotta be disrobed, guys. What? You I'm terribly to sorry. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he strips egg but naked. It's not a transitive verb. Wait, so hang on. So how does it... So the... Why... If... I, I, I'm not arguing It's a one word decision. command. It's a one it's word, word command. It's going to be a one word command. And oh. if you said disarm... It would be... You suggest you're disarming someone else, probably. Oh, okay. Alright, so you don't want the spell to go astray and... Yeah. Okay. Twist your words. I don't want it to be a Wes Craven's wish, wish master wish sort master of situation. <laughs> sure, we, no, none of us want a wish master situation. But there's, so you're saying there's. So you a, can see the only option. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so you're saying there's a slim chance one of us will be magically disrobed <laughs> no. in a magical. No, no, I'm saying it at him. It's fine. Why am I nude suddenly? <laughs> um, what's your spell save DC? It was. Oh yeah, twelve. Twelve. Spell save DC. <laughs> 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 Just hear him go, okay! <laughs> so, oh. he's gonna do that on his next turn. Uh, Prudent! Sure, what have you got to do for us now? Oh. There's, a, uh, there's a rogue on the ceiling preparing to get naked. <laughs> what are you, how, how do sir, you feel please. about that? <laughs> this is the consecrated ground, sir. This is neither the time nor the place. Um, surrender would have worked perfectly fine, by the way. That's not a verb that can be twisted. Sir, please, please, sir, please. Sir, please. sir I know, should you reconsider sir. the nudity you're about to commit? You're going for several layers He's of the gun buttoning No, sir, please, please. Uh, Eldritch, Eldritch Blast! Oh. Eldritch Blast this! I'm doing it for your own good, sir, for your dignity. Hi. 
Well, you're looking to. You are for the moment still looking to beat a ten. So mm, make me a. Naked yet. Okay. Make me a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> range spell attack, please. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to add your charisma modifier. So. Oh, you're only beating his hand. Charisma modifier. I mean, yeah, it's it's almost a dead set. Okay. I mean. So. <laughs> it's Twenty-one. <laughs> yep. Right. Okie dokie. So roll. So, de- is this an agonizing blast? Uh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> add charisma to that the. Uh, yeah, to the damage. You know, if you explode him, we'll see everything. <laughs> Briefly. Briefly. Right. <laughs> five <laughs> plus uh, five, ten. Okay. We still got right. the tarp over the well, right? Um, you kind of, to be honest, you half blast the shirt off his back, and then you see some flesh sort of like peel away. Hot. Oh, I mean, so, so, somewhat hot. Yes. Oh, brilliant! You're down with the plan. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. He's hit with an agonising blast on the ceiling. Dob, it's your go. So I know he's about to disrobe. <laughs> so stop him! Stop him! Do you have a robe spell? <laughs> Um, hmm, hmm, tricky one. Um, being a rogue, he's probably got a whole lot of weaponry on him, not just the sort of... Oh, your knives hidden We're about to all find over out. the place. <laughs> oh, yeah, I suppose if he disrobe. Okay, all right. Nice um, garter thing all right. everywhere. Uh, I cast uh, heat metal on the blade that he's holding. Nice. Okay. All right. Um, That's what happens. Boom. I just want him to drop it, but it looks like it's going to savagely burn him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. All right, this was supposed to be a pacifist disarming, but you know what? You can only do what you do. Uh, 2d8, right? Yeah. Well, that's a six. And that, boy, well, that's an eight. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 14. A snap. Um. Don't worry, we're going to bring him in alive, but... <laughs> Maybe we'll stop that. You have some complaints, <laughs> but alive. So, um, it's Darkfall's turn, and he... Basically, I mean, he's, he's dropped his sword and given sort of a shriek of pain. Uh, and it's he's, liquid metal on the floor now, right? Surely it's completely... I think so, yeah. It's, it's certainly too hot to handle right now. Uh, as is he, am I right? <laughs> he drops to the floor and he's just like... Eh, eh, and takes off all of his clothes. It's like... Oh my Aha! God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Right. Great work. Thought so. No one look. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Great. Corazon, stop looking. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> determining tactical weaknesses. Yeah. <laughs> Have you found one? I found one, yeah. <laughs> it looks like three to me. <laughs> right, Corazon, it's your go. Good God. Jack, mate, mate, one rogue to another. <laughs> this fight is like, the like, like, like this, <laughs> so, Yeah, okay, yeah. Just one rogue to another. This fight isn't going super well for you. You're naked, you've got no weapon. You're all burned up. <laughs> I mean, is it really so important to you to poison this palad in order that you want to keep this thing going, or do you want to just like call it, knock this on the head now, and maybe we can talk about this? I'm just, and you can put some clothes on, maybe. No. <laughs> no, it isn't important to you, or no, <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna not gonna knock this on the head. Which one means fight? <laughs> you, want to, you, just, you want to carry on fighting? Where? But do you want? Do you want to explain like why you really want to kill this pilot in order? No. No, you don't. You want to keep on the fight. All oh, right, the yeah. fighting. All right. Well, I, I mean, I tried, Egbert. I really tried here. So get him, Corazon. Okay, I'm gonna um, give him the old uh, rapier thrust to above the belt <laughs> line. All right. Are you looking to beat an eight now? Okay. Oh no, it's a five. <laughs> Uh, What's uh, your dex modifier? Oh, wait, my dex modifier. Yes, you're right. Four. So. You managed. No, it's oh. good. Okay, good. Okay, you might have ended up below the belt if you weren't careful. Roll your damage. Kill damage. Kill damage. Okay. <laughs> That's a four. All right. Um, you sort of, you, you give him a good poke and blood starts to sort of run. Yeah. From between two ribs, and he's like, Ugh. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to use my bonus action to hide again. <laughs> I cast, oh no, it might be, um, I, won't, I won't use that just in case. I'm just going to go for another claw, another claw right. ring, I you think. to be eight. Yeah. <laughs> Seventeen. That's a hit then, yep. Uh, so yeah, today. Five. Five and four, that's 14 again. Yeah, you you basically just like 
almost take his shoulder off. Oh, like, oh, oh gosh! <sighs> uh, and he sort of staggers for a minute. It's like he looks at you. It's like I'm been naked. <laughs> <laughs> Slumps to the floor and is dead. No. Oh. 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 I tried wow. to talk to him. Oh. He wasn't having any of it. He barely knew you. Also, I have his boots. <laughs> <laughs> They're mine now. And yeah, also any you other. You really need to take them off his corpse. Yeah, he A took thank them off. You maybe. I take all his clothes off and the floor. I yeah. put them on because <laughs> they're great. All right. I take the tarpaulin off the well uh-huh. and cover up his naked dead Aww. form. Aww. Well, Aww. Out of respect. Aww. Much respect. We don't even know why he was trying to poison this water supply. Now he's dead. But we can know potentially. What? 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 I have a spell that I learned in the time we were away. Uh, Don't tell me about this, it's cool. The spell is called Speak With Dead. (laughs) Job, what did I tell you about necromancy? Uh, Try try and cut down. (laughs) Uh, um, I learned it because um, I, out of a desperate wish to apologise to the orphans, Oh, well, you remember. <laughs> um, unfortunately, not until I'd learned and mastered the spell did I learn quite how ineffective it would be at apologising to the orphans. Did you make a lot of zombie orphans? No, I didn't, because I didn't cast the spell in the end, because what the spell does is it basically um, reanimates a corpse temporarily. I can ask them five questions. Ha, the whoa. answers may be cryptic. Okay. okay. Uh, but you do get five questions out of a corpse. Obviously the corpse can't answer anything it didn't know when it was alive. And here's the thing that I think we're going to have to figure out a workaround for. The corpse is under no obligation to answer those questions if it doesn't like us or didn't like it less when it was alive. Right. Okay. Okay. How do you threaten What, what if I used disguise self to yeah. disguise myself as death? Grim Reaper, Skull, Scythe, and then... Oh, I've, I've come to take you across I've the I've come to take the, you, but first you have to answer dead. truthfully some questions for me Ooh. before I take you across I the I have a spell as well, which is called Zone of Truth. I insist we do at least both. Theatrical. <laughs> Disguise as death, come on. Like, answer me questions before we... That's Although, amazing. let's do that. I don't know if Zone of Truth works on the undead, and I assume you become undead. It, well, so, it, it does not work on the undead. Oh. Technically, they're not the undead, but they sort of are at the same time. Right. Like, I don't think you can use Zone of Truth. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're going to... All right, all right. right. So we're all going... We're going to need to disappear from view, apart from Andy, who is disguised as the Grim Reaper. Okay, I disguise myself as the Grim Reaper. (laughs) Okay. All right. We're all outside. All right. Okay, and, yeah, so just from around the corner, I just pipe my head around, and it's a surprisingly uh, sweet tune, and it's like... Hey, Dark Fall, wasn't it? Dark Fall. Dark Fall. Do you fancy coming back to life just for a second? There is like a sickening noise. He's like, oh, dear. Oh, oh, and like dear. sinew and bone sort of like try and get back into the habit of moving. And he sort of sits up uh, with like a big bit of him hanging off. Jack Dark Fall, it is I, Death. Le Mort. <laughs> you may know me as Limo. Salut. <laughs> Salut. Well, Jack, you are dead. <laughs> you were killed in that fight, <laughs> trying to poison the well. Right. You seem quite resigned to this fact. That's Spanish. That wasn't one of the questions. Yeah. <laughs> that was a statement that was agreed to <laughs> by the course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jack. What? I am ready to take you now to where souls go after death. But first, hmm? you must answer me questions and you must answer truthfully, or you will end up in hell. Yeah. Yeah, no. it's bad. <laughs> you don't want to go to hell, it's bad. Okay. Jack, what? why were you trying to poison the paladin's well? Revenge. Revenge. What? Second question. What, what was the revenge for? A hasty flight. Hey, hey. A hungry night. Hasty flight. Hungry night. What? Mara went right this down. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Third question. What? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> we can't make his answers not cryptic, I don't think. Yeah. To swiftly go, don't get to know. 
Like G N A W. No. Oh, don't get to gnaw. What? To sweetly go. Sweetly. Swiftly. Oh, to swiftly go. Mm. Don't, don't get to, to gnaw. What? Hasty flight, hungry night. Yeah. To swiftly go, don't get to gnaw. Gnaw, okay, so as in eat. So they had to flee something. Which only rhymes in a French accent. He didn't get to, <laughs> he didn't get to eat something. <laughs> what did you have to flee? I mean, what did you have to flee on death? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still death. Yeah, I'm still death. Don't ever question that. A burning bright light. Burning bright light. <gasps> like the, 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 the sun okay. cow or, so, or something. Fine, all right. What, what are you thinking for the last question? I'm thinking either, do you know Egg with the Careless? Please. Or. Or. Is Corazon a cool, better rogue? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would. I'm not sure it's the best question, but I'll throw into mix. Who, who are you working for? In case he is working. He's he's getting yeah, revenge. It's for himself, himself, right? You're right. Yeah. Also, open-ended question. Not do you know, but okay. how is Egbert involved? If that's the way you want to go. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Final question, Jack. Where? How is Egbert the careless involved? Mm. <gasps> oh, right. oh, yeah. He like nuts the deck. Uh, <laughs> He's like, bang! He uh, dead. He's dead. Yeah, All right. Made a rubbish. Let's All right. hear it back. Wow, prudence, your handwriting sucks. <laughs> uh, hasty flight, hungry night. To swiftly go, don't get to no, nor. Yeah. Uh, bright, burning bright light. And, okay. Uh, I think from that, what I would take is uh -huh. that the order burned down something close to him mm. and, they and to he run. they had to Maybe run all their food they supplies had to, yeah, or they something were hungry like they had to yeah so the order did some kind of atrocity involving burning something that led to people having to flee and being hungry maybe we should just ask the head of the order yeah i think this is uh Clearly, got some, the evidence. some atrocities got the, have been committed. Yeah, let's go. I'm and looking there's... forward to later heading to that bar called The Comments and hearing theories there. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love The Comments. Mm. Spent so much time with in the it. With a Z. Yeah. <laughs> Comments. <laughs> cool, so I've helped myself to all his cool rogue equipment, right? Cool, yeah, yeah great. Got all you, that. Just, you look fancier now. Nice. Well, um, I'm still disguised as death, because why not? Okay, it's sure. Good, lasts for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you all leave the uh, the Boom. room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, this is great. Sorry. <laughs> Just stalk through the citadel, yeah. like looking like death, and pointing at people. Um, are you, like you leave the the room with the well in it, uh, and you see Captain Shattershield there, who takes one look at Coruscant, draws his sword, <laughs> and bellows, "To me! Oh. To me! Weapons down, Shattershield!" <laughs> oh. And I'm like, "It's fine." It's fine, we solved the problem. Egbert. Yes! Agent Egbert, step forward. <laughs> Mission oh. report, Agent Egbert. Shatter shield, listen up. <laughs> so, turns out the poisoning plan was, uh, was, was legit. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Prudence, yeah. exhibit A, please. The pale tincture. Oh, oh you, yes. you get your hands off that fine. shatter shield, that's going back to the lab. A, the body of a rogue, don't ask. Why he doesn't have any clothes on, you will see uh, the assailant who's gonna poison the water supply. We prevented it. I feel like, probably, if it were me judging things, I would say that was some kind of atonement, perhaps the so, maximum so amount of yes. atonement that it is possible to achieve for this order. Um, Please. He sort of, he, he was like sort of frowning at you. And then the paladin comes back that he sort of sent into the room and whispers in his ear. It's like, oh, it was Darkfall. Why didn't you say? You just dropped his name. We would have done everything to help. Uh, we okay. Just... What there did you get like, Why would... Darkfall? <laughs> like, have you heard of this guy, Corazon de Bayena? Like, he's, no. he's, no, well, you yeah, well, should have heard of him because he's good. He's better than Darkfall. Why has so Death's okay. voice gone so high pitched? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not deaf anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So furious you slipped out of your disguise. Anyway, it's not important who's the best rogue. What? I'm just saying, only one of us is dead. Okay. So... Who is this guy? <laughs> doesn't matter. Anyway, Egbert, He's please He's an associate. Continue. It's fine. Uh, so why, why, why would Darkfall have been uh, attacking the Citadel? Why? It uh, sounds like you know this guy and... We've been after him for ages. Right. So, uh, helped, obviously, but why? He tried to rob us. Uh, okay. Was he trying to rob you again? You think that's why he... 
No, I think he was trying to kill us this time. Right. He was trying to rob us. What was he trying to rob? The first time, and then we, we ran him out of the Citadel. Okay. What else did you do? Then he came back. When you ran him out of the Citadel? Nothing. You, you didn't give chase? Of... You didn't hound down his family? No. You didn't torch anything? No. What was he trying to steal? Money. I'm not going to deny that you've done us a favour here today. <laughs> yes. Kelly. But... I didn't even kill him. Someone else did. Some okay. bear. Some bear got Some in Some bear else did. Listen, I think at this time, of all people, you should not be the one bringing up the taking of lives. Yes, I know. So, I appreciate what you've done. Believe me, we've counted it towards your atonement. Mm. And it's going to take a little bit more. More points on the loyalty card. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Two more stamps. <laughs> yeah. You're taking a free latte. <laughs> Okay, I understand. It's fine. I'll continue to wander the earth, looking for atonement. I turn back into a druid and I'm like, uh, what the hell, guys? He just saved all your lives. Yes. Is that not worth anything more than a single point on the scale? I didn't say it was a single point. I just said I noted it down. Can I, can I just ask about that Darkfall guy? Yeah. Like, he had a lot of stuff to say about why he wanted to kill you guys, about burning and hunger. Do you know what any of that is about? Well, what did he say? He, he wanted revenge. He wanted revenge, revenge on you guys. On you guys. Yeah, I forget to figure that. So, do you say anything else? Do you guys burn anything down? Make any hungry people in the past that maybe someone would want to poison all of you about? No, we don't. I mean, we tend to burn a lot of things down, but we didn't burn anything of his down. We burn bad things down that are bad. Bad things is very subjective. Mm -hmm. Listen, what, yeah. what, did, what about I mean, his family's farm? We're talking villages, we're talking farms. Well, what did his uncle Owen and his aunt Baru. What, did, what are these accusations he's leveled against us? What did he say? He was very cryptic. He was cryptic. We were talking to his corpse. It doesn't matter. It's not going to get into it's not a big heresy. Oh. No. oh my god, you miss you guys. Heresy nonsense. God, Paladins oh. are the worst. I promise I had nothing to do with the corpse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said something was burned down. He had to flee. He was very hungry. Didn't get to eat. He wanted revenge. Ring a bell? Not really, no. I mean, we ran him out of town when he was trying to steal our money. I guess if he had no money, he went hungry. Oh. Something like that. I don't know. Mm. Well, it doesn't sound like enough. He was like hell bent on destroying this order. He was in a bad way and he wouldn't stop fighting. Mm. Mm. Egbert, I don't like this order. And I just want you to know <laughs> that I think you've achieved all the atonement you basically need. <laughs> Thanks, Dom. I think you're better I think than you're these great. guys. But this is, you're lovely friends, but also. I do still feel like there's more to do. As we leave, I lock eyes with Shatter Shield, and I'm like, much of morality is subject. <laughs> <laughs> As his world crumbles. Um, I do have one more question for Shatter Shield, mm -hmm. which is, have you heard of someone called Liliana? Sorceress? Drow? Mm. Drow sorceress? I've heard tell. She took something from me. Literally from inside of me. Oh god. My kidney. Oh. Which probably is still the property of the, the order. So, any help you can offer, much appreciated. I will think on this, Egbert the Gallus. Thank you. It's all right, now please leave the Citadel. All okay. right, let's leave, Egbert. Eh? Where is the treasure? Just on our way out? Do, 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 but, but, so, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> please take nothing except for <laughs> the corpse of that man you killed. Oh, but he's we so naked. <laughs> right, has anyone got a blanket? I don't I... make the rules, except that I literally do. All right, I wrap him gingerly in my bedroll. I cast mending on the hanging off arm, so at least it's all glued together. Uh, oh. All right. On the way out, I dump the corpse into the water supply. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, OK, we carry him out. We let's need go. it for the bounty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got to turn in the bounty. All right, let's take this corpse. Mm. Uh, get out of here. It's a rich right. full day. So kind of, you know, if, imagine if you know if this was sort of a film, uh, you see sort of the camera pulling back as you wearily make your way across the causeway. You give in the corpse. You get given, to be fair, quite a lot of money. It's of course handed directly to the treasurer, Dob. Merylwen <laughs> is the official <laughs> treasurer. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's handed directly to Merylwen. Yeah. Uh, so you've got quite a lot of money, and the camera sort of continues to pull out, showing, you know, Barrow Springs there and the beautiful citadel there, and mm. then it sort of pulls out and you realise that, you know, the picture you're seeing is in a bowl of water, which is in a large pool, <gasps> and then it pulls out further and you see a drow woman oh silhouetted, just watching 
and sort of, like a fine wine, just sort of moving a kidney around. <laughs> oh, in a jar. And then she sort of trails a hand over the waters, which become, they ripple and then clear and are just liquid again. And I think we'll end it there. Oh, damn. Oh, twist! Oh, dang! <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this Dungeons & Dragons Ox Venture. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of thing. And if you want to see more from Johnny, you can check out Dicebreaker, which is the new tabletop YouTube channel and website from Gamer Network, which Johnny is running the video Woo! side for. Yeah! Yeah! And you'll get there for yeah. all of your tabletop needs. Uh, but yes, thank you so much, and we will see you next time.